my name is Bibi Gul Masabi. I am an Afghan Australian. I have bright brown eyes, Asian fair skin, and a flat nose. I have a bit of an American accent because I learned my English off American TV shows and movies. And right now I am sitting in my serene living room in Old Guildford, Sydney, Australia. And the art that I practice is bead making. So I make bookmarks, bracelets, and um, necklaces sometimes using micro seed beads. I usually carry my beads in a little container so that I can bead anywhere. But right now, because of COVID, I'm stuck here in Sydney, which is a blessing. But this is my family home. I have a lot of fond memories here. We moved here in 2008. And my family is known to, you know, help my relatives, even offering our house to them. At one point, we had up to 28 people living with us. My art is for my mom because everything creative that I have, I learned it from her. She has this amazing ability to tell stories. When I was little, there's this funny story. Like just the way she would convey her message was really cute. She was trying to say to us, it's important for you to say God willing, like in Islam, that's something very important. So all the birds were saying, oh, we're gonna go on this trip. All the birds said, God willing, except the chicken. So the chicken the next day couldn't fly. <laughs> so I was just, when I was little, like that really got to me. And even to this day, I say God willing a lot. Art is important to me because it's an inherent part of my culture. I grew up with art. I have this memory of like little Bibi going and accompanying her little sister to her crocheting class and I would just you know like sit there for hours and I wouldn't get bored at all just watching all the ladies like you know just all their hand movements and like the precision in which they worked. Just watching them was a meditation for me. I feel that there is so much beauty in Afghan culture. We have crocheting, we have beading, we have theater making, we have singing hazals. We have all these amazing practices and I feel that they should continue and they should be kept alive, especially at a time like this where the Taliban has invaded Afghanistan and they're trying to put this black shroud to cover all that beauty. And I just feel that as an artist, it is my duty, whether that is me performing or reciting a poem or doing my beading, that I should continue these practices. And I do feel the privilege to be in a country where I have the freedom to do that. I feel like it's, it's just, art is just who I am. I don't have a favorite poem because I love poetry. One of my favorite poem is by Amir Khusro. This poem is beautiful and romantic. You can translate the poem however you like. You can make it into a beautiful romantic poem or a divine spiritual poem. And it goes like Mantushudam to Manshudi, Mantushudam to Manshudi, Mantanshudam to Janshudi, Takasnaguyad Badazin to Digari Mandigaram.